machine tools have a special importance in German industry. Without them, there'd be no gears or bearing cases. And without gears and bearing cases, there'd be no dual clutch transmissions or manufacturing robots. Machine tools create value. And it's not only chipped wood that creates splinters. The Osberg Hermann Eviken company tries to minimize the production of metallic waste. That's made possible by a new punching and nibbling machine. Conventional punching machines stamp various components out of sheet metal with the help of tools. The leftover material that surrounds the punched out parts is called the sheet skeleton. And it's usually treated as waste. The problem is, components can get stuck in the skeleton when they're lifted from the machine table. That makes full automation impossible. In addition, the die used in older machines can't be lowered. That means the die leaves scratches on the underside of the sheet metal every time it's moved. And that reduces the quality of the product. The new punching and nibbling machine not only stamps out the individual components, it also punches out the small spaces in between that make up the sheet skeleton. This is made possible by optimized software that can program complex punching operations. It's also possible to rotate the die and the punching head 90 degrees. That way, all the strips between the components can be released downwards. The result is no more sheet skeleton. And with the skeleton gone, the individual components can be placed closer together. That means a smaller piece of sheet metal can now produce the same number of parts. Or the same piece of sheet metal can produce a greater number of components. Either way, the process saves material. The new software and the new machine create savings of around 10% on average. That wouldn't have been worth it with the old machine since the expense would have far outweighed the material that could have been saved. The machine's downtime is also reduced since the components no longer get stuck in the skeleton. And that saves additional energy. Another advantage of the new machine is due to the fact that a variety of conveyor belts sort out the components underneath the table. They not only separate waste from the components, various parts also land in different boxes. As a result, a variety of forms can be punched out of a single piece of sheet metal. That allows for a better use of the available surface, saving even more material. In addition, the die is lowered between punching procedures while the sheet metal is moved. That results in a scratch-free underside of the sheet metal. The new technology not only saves material and energy, it also increases product quality. Innovative machine tools are also saving resources at this Brandenburg plant run by global auto supplier ZF. The plant produces manual and dual clutch transmissions for premium brand automobiles. One important component is toothed gears, made in various sizes and depths. 
One particular challenge is how to apply this profile to thin hollow shafts. In Brandenburg, this is accomplished with hollow shafts possessing a wall thickness of only three millimeters. First, the blank is put in position by a special rolling machine. The blank is pushed between two rollers that have the exact same width as the desired toothing. The profile is rolled into the workpiece until the given depth is reached. Afterwards, the position of the shaft is altered and two other rollers move to the level of the tooth depth. The hollow shaft is pushed through the two rollers and the profile is rolled into it. This kind of forming technology can even roll deep profiles into thin-walled components without producing metallic waste. In addition, the rollers provide a high-quality surface. The rolling itself provides the advantage of high material efficiency because it forms the toothing in a way that produces no metal filings. In addition, this machine has the advantage of high energy efficiency. Because it works with electromechanical drive, the machine is only in operation when it needs to be. In other procedures, special tools push the toothing into the shaft, and that creates material waste. But with the material efficient rolling, the rolling wheels have to impact the workpiece with a force of more than 10 tons. This was previously accomplished with the help of a hydraulic drive. A hydraulic pump provided constant pressure in the hoses. That allowed a cylinder to contain enough hydraulic energy to bring the roller wheels into the desired position. But the hydraulic pump had to maintain the pressure when the roller wheels were not moving. With the new technology, the drive is provided by an electric motor. It drives a spindle using a toothed belt. Several rolling bodies are arranged around the spindle. They transform the rotational movement into a linear feed, bringing the slide with the rolling wheels into the right position. In contrast to hydraulics, the electric drive only consumes energy when the process is in operation. That saves energy. 30% of the operating power can now be saved compared to the previous technology. Modern machine tools save energy and material. They also improve the quality of the products. And that creates even more value.